Thank you for joining us for our Cash or Trash episode. As always, would like to mention some of these videos may be a little bit upsetting to some of you, and so fair warning and disclosure that we're going to talk a little bit of trash about some of these brands. Maybe they'll be knocked down a few nachos. Who knows? Maybe we'll talk some good stuff. Just want to advise everybody. Hopefully, you enjoy all these videos about talking and rating all these shoes. And again, Cash or Trash is a little bit of trash talk. So. Enjoy. Hey everyone, it's Alan and we're back at it with a, another Cash or Trash episode. Sorry I've been out of commission for a little while, so I apologize for delays on all the videos and everything, but I definitely wanted to get this uh, video out for this pair of boots. As you can hear, I'm a little groggy and everything still. It's going to take me a little while to recover, so bear with me. Hopefully you guys uh, are still around and everything and excited to see some videos. But like I mentioned in today's video for Cash or Trash, we're going to be talking about helm boots. These things are very interesting. We don't see them too often. I've seen them only a couple of times, but um, let's dive into it. So helm boots are one of those things that just, they look constructed like a lot of those Goodyear welted boots and everything like that, but they're not quite that. They are actually a like a rapid stitch. So in other words, what goes on is that the uh, midsole is stitched inside with a Blake stitch method and everything. And then afterwards, the uh, midsole, the sole and everything gets stitched to that on the outside, which there are pluses and minuses to, to that, definitely. Uh, some people like that construction. However, it is a very rugged construction in a way. So comfortability wise, it's going to be very debatable. Some people will absolutely hate it because there is no uh, cushioning in there of any kind. There's no cork fillers, none of that kind of stuff. It's just straight. Uh, the boot is stitched to a leather midsole and then to that leather midsole you've got everything else stitched to it so it's going to be a very debatable type of boot but let's dive into as far as giving it a rating and everything without blabbering too much um, let's start out with material quality material quality i'd give them an eight definitely a great uh, material that they use all around it's not phenomenal but it's definitely better than a lot of things out there that i've come across for sure um they're you know for the price point obviously we'll get to the price at the end but for the price point they're they're good just not phenomenal you can't be comparing it to say a uh, seven or eight hundred dollar boot or anything like that but they're 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 decent you know with the material quality build quality i'm going to drop that down to a seven however because there's a bit of an issue with the way they're designed and everything how it's all angled and pitched it's kind of weird on this one that heel is just not stable at all um you know i'll do the close-up of the what it looks like and everything but it's it's just off and wonky there's just something about it where it's just the boots not quite set up right like all the layers and everything it looks really cool really nice i like the uh you know the two-tone you know material and everything now remember i am talking about just this model here there's a few other types of variants and builds that these guys make where they're like that uh rubber sole and everything which is ugly and just no no big no on a boot don't do that don't put a sneaker sole on a boot like this but they did it anyways so you can check those out if you want to but we're talking about this construction so they've got a few shoes and a few boots where they've got that Blake Rapid stitch like this. Um, but again, because of that build, I don't know. That's that's just not an okay thing. That's just not acceptable for it to be that unstable and wonky there. So um, the build drops down just because of that there. Uh, comfortability, um, we're going to give it a six because, again, there's not much for comfort in there. There's no cork. There's no fillers. The other thing is because of that wonkiness in the heel and everything and it's not leveled, that drops it down to support. Same thing. We're going to give it a six um, just because for support features, that's not an acceptable thing. That's really not okay. Uh, to have overall though because of how it's all layered you're going to have some stability to the boot overall as far as it's going to prevent you from twisting an ankle very easily and all that kind of stuff so we're not going to drop it down significantly we're just going to give it that six uh collectability we'll give them a six just because i don't know how collectible these things are um in the boot community it might be something worth uh, to show off and brag about that you've got a pair but it's a six it's nothing phenomenal and it's nothing absolutely just horrible because it's not a very common boot you don't see helm boots too often uh show off ability we'll bump them up to a seven i mean that's that's a really cool i like the multi-tone layer and design that's definitely something you can show off a bit for sure um 
Let's see, maintenance. We'll give them an eight. Uh, maintenance is going to be very simple. You're just going to use very basic conditioners. You don't need anything too fancy, too crazy. Um, you know, basic waterproofing if you're going to be in rougher conditions and everything like that. Nothing too crazy. No layers of waxes they need or different stages. Just your basic condi uh, cleaner, conditioner, and uh, waterproofer. That's all you're going to need uh, quite literally for it. Eventually, you're going to have natural patinas occurring, little spots that are going to, you know, kind of get there and stuff. So definitely. Um, definitely that's about it on maintenance uh, recraftability I'll give them an 8 also um, there's going to be like different stages of recraftability on these guys because one you can have everything torn off and rebuilt completely that's kind of on your high end where you're gonna have the midsole restitched and everything but it's it's not needed it's not needed at all um it's gonna be plenty enough where you might just need the sole protector or the heel in this case we're gonna be replacing just the heel on these guys and then giving them full leather uh treatment and everything but um that could be like your lowest stage and then a stage up from that is going to be actually having the uh, full sole replaced uh, with the midsole and that again will be stitched on as if it's a Goodyear welt stitch in other words and then on the high end again the whole thing can be torn off and recrafted and rebuilt if you want it to so there's going to be different levels and stages so recraftability i'll give them an eight because you've got options and varieties to be able to do um price point i'd give them a mid price point um they're nothing too crazy they've got options again with those sneaker soles that are way cheaper and stuff i'm not gonna even rate those guys in here because again we're rating the ones that are built like this they're a little more sturdy and everything like that so um we'll go on medium price point on that uh the other ones are going to be on the low scale for sure if you want to check them out i'll leave a link in the description for their website so at the end of it this one's a very close one honestly it's very very close um because i'm uh, from a cobbler standpoint i am very not happy with that pitch right there we're going to be replacing the heels so we're going to make sure to level that out nicely but uh that's a major killer for me from the factory because these are um that's just not okay that it's that wonky and everything and they're not using anything premium so it's not like a vibram lug sole it's uh, some kind of off-brand one or something so i will give these a cash okay i will give them a cash because they're they're very close they're kind of in that in between but i'll give them a cash that's uh it's it's still a great construction it just needs a little bit of fine tuning here and there uh, a little minor details and all that kind of stuff if the company keeps an eye out for that and uh, again if you guys are watching from helm uh, check out that pitch make sure it's uh, make sure it's on par because if your goal is to try to make this a rocker sole of some sort um, you don't do that on a boot like this I've done orthopedics my entire life as well as being a cobbler and I've this is not the type of boot where you do a rocker sole you just don't it's not this boot you guys are not that boot the sneaker sole models maybe that you guys have but that's a sneaker sole shoe or boot this is not supposed to rock that much all right but anyways hope you enjoyed the video um hopefully i'll get more videos after being back up and everything and uh you know, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If they're short questions or comments, if they're anything more detailed, either give us a call, swing by locally, or check us out on Facebook or Instagram as well. All the links are down below, and uh, we'll see you next time.